Well, <laughs> I always start with well, right? This has been an interesting little afternoon. Now it's turning to evening and getting dark. Um, <laughs> I have a new project that I actually have gotten a good bit done on it. <clears throat> it was a birthday present from my daughter Elizabeth and originally it was very expensive and I'm just doing all the stuff to it. <laughs> the people who made it would be just horrified but I'm trying to get it to go into a bedroom and it's a beautiful brass heart that sits on this stand and there's a little plaque in copper, sort of, kind of a bronzy copper, that says in French, Hero pour toujours, which means happy forever. I like that. Don't you? Wouldn't that be nice? So I am going to, like I say, always do my thing to this little, little heart thingy. On a stand. Uh, originally it was just uh, wood, kind of unfinished wood. This was sort of a dark metal and then it had this beautiful brass heart. And I am going to, I've already gritted it, I'm going to put some bronze and silver little stately stripes around the edge and then in the middle I'm going to do some silver royal squares. Then the base is going to have stately stripes, it's going to have royal squares, and I'm going to do it. I actually went shopping because I couldn't. All right, let me just show you the diagram. Here's the diagram. Okay, can you see that? The diagram? All those different colors of paints that I <laughs> put around the side. I kept putting all the colors that I had in sort of uh, metallic colors and none of them seemed to work. I took this into the bedroom where it's gonna go, which I will show you once it's finished and none of the colors really matched. So I went to Michael's and I actually found, it's called Chocolate Brown and it's, Metallic, it doesn't say it's metallic, but it is. <laughs> Why does it say that? I don't know. Uh, multi surface chocolate brown. Uh, but I put the color on my paper and took it into the bedroom, and it looks really great. So that's what I'm going to do for my copper, copper accents along with the silver. And that's going to be down here on this base. I'm going to put all the chocolate in the stripes, in the squares. And then I'm gonna have some dignified dots around the edge. I measured everything and each little square is gonna be three quarters of an inch square. And all the little stripe, the stately stripes are gonna be three quarters of an inch. Which I, I uh, sanded, I put the primer, the Kills 2 primer, and then I put a base coat of bone white of a regular just a house wall paint I put on here because it matches the trim in the bedroom where this is going to be so that's sort of the description of what's going to happen and so it's been a very interesting day and now I've got to mark I haven't done all the marking I just thought I would do a little bit with you for my stripes um, and I was going to use this, but it's hard to use the, this is my right angle ruler that I can put across here and make sure all my stripes are perfect. And I'm using my gel pen. Um, <laughs> I'm using my gel pen. And I'm making my stripes. And there's 11 of these stripes. Um, I just mark and then every other one is going to be painted with that brown color that's 
looks metallic to me. If I get it on there and it's not, I'll just, uh, <laughs> it just won't be. <laughs> because of the heart being the color it is, I just wanted to use metallic paints. And it's going to be sitting on a bedside chest that, I'm going to turn this around so I can get this. And this one, because it's where it is, I'm gonna have to do it here. I see. I need to make sure that's squared off. There. Turn this around. Okay, then I've got to mark all the royal squares around, all around the base, the all three quarters of an inch. So I think, I think I'm gonna stop and do that off the camera and then I'll come back and we'll start painting the stately stripes and the royal squares on my arrow pour du jour. Happy forever, <laughs> little heart. And I've already marked the uh, where the silver is going to go on the heart. And I think it's going to look really cool when I get done. By the way, I had my hair cut today. And I always say it never looks the same once I wash it and do it myself. So this is my hairstylist, do, Zach. I love him. He's been doing my hair for about 13 years or more. I follow him wherever he goes. He's great. And I love his family. And he loves my family. So hi, Zach, if you ever watch this. His daughter, I was there today, and they got my Christmas card. And for some reason, he was talking to the kids about the Christmas card. and. And the daughter said, have you known her longer than you've known my mom? <laughs> and he had to say yes, a little bit longer than he's known her mom. Um, I, I need to get to know those kids. They're really cute. I see their pictures every time I go see Zach. Okay, I'm gonna take a break. My kids like it when I talk a lot. I don't know if you do, but I'm gonna be back in a bit. Okay, see ya. Okay, I'm back and I just took a look at the video that I did before this and I saw that most of the time half my head was chopped off but you know what <laughs> it's just gonna have to be that way because I'm not gonna do it over and maybe my head not all the way chopped off this time I kept saying I had quite a day right and I never told you <laughs> what that meant other than trying to find the right color paint. But when I started to film a little while ago, <clears throat> my tripod that I've been using all these months, one of the legs just broke off. And I thought, I don't know, what am I gonna do? Well, I forgot I had this other tripod, also a selfie stick. You can use it for either one. So it took me a while to get that thing hooked up. And I'm not sure, I'm trying to paint and talk and uh, for my kids actually want me to do that more. Um, so that's what happened. My tripod broke. And now I'm gonna start with this metallic paint. And I'm gonna do my stripes first. And this first one is a little tricky. Thank <laughs> you. 
pay. <laughs> okay. There. There's one. Now, the, I guess I could do the other side with this wide brush. One little, one stripe on either side is just a little bit wider than the rest. And that's just the way I'm, it worked out for everything else to be three quarters of an inch. And as you know, nothing I paint is as perfect as when I grit it. When I grit it, it's all perfect little stripes. And then when I paint, it's not quite so perfect. Now, I'm going to change brushes because the rest of these, and I think, I'm not sure if this is the brush I'm supposed to use. Let's see, but I may have supposed to use another one. Tested this out before I started. Actually, I think I'm gonna use another brush. These are royal stripes. I mean, no, they're stately stripes, Kimmy. I know you want to just scream sometimes with me. My daughter Kim, she's named everything I do. And half the time I can't remember what to call them. But these are stately stripes. Okay. There. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that one in there. I'm gonna use is this the one? All right, let's try this one. This one might be exactly the same size as the other one. I kind of need one brush that's in between the bigger one. Oh well, I'm just gonna have to go back over it twice to get it right. <clears throat> This turntable. So I can just go back and forth and back and forth. And I may go back over these again to get them to be a little darker. Sometimes these metallic paints, you have to do more than one coat. And as you know, I changed my mind about what I'm gonna do about halfway through everything I do anyway. If I don't like the way it's looking, I have another plan. Nothing's fatal. It's just not. Not the way I paint anyway. Okay, there we have all our stately stripes. Now, I'm going to flip this on its side. And I have marked off all my little 
You know, whenever I film these, I always say what day it is. It's actually December 17th, I think. <laughs> it's the 17th, I think. Um, and I'm so excited because this weekend I'm going to Nashville, Tennessee, which is on my bucket list. You know, when you're 76, you start thinking about your bucket list. And I have never been to Nashville. And I'm going with, she's like a sister to me. She sort of has replaced a sister that I lost this year to cancer. Not to cancer, to dementia. <laughs> My sister Kristen. She's gone. She's left us all. Um, I'm going with Michelle Whiten and her daughter Morgan. They are my family now. They have been for 10 years. And we're going to go to Nashville. And Saturday night is a concert at the Ryman. I'm going to the Ryman. I'm so excited. To hear Amy Grant and Vince Gill do their Christmas concert. And I have heard that it is really fabulous. Um, so, that's what I'm doing this weekend. So all week I've been getting ready to go. Got my nails done, got my hair done. And I got a few more things to do to get ready to go. We leave Saturday morning and we won't be back to Christmas Eve. When I get back, I'm going to have a house full of company. My daughter Cinnamon, her husband Jerry, their four kids, her two, his two. And we are going to, you know what we're going to do? I have never in all my 76 years made Christmas cookies. Now, I know you don't believe that, but it's true. Why? I don't know. It's almost embarrassed to say. But I've been watching all these Hallmark Christmas movies for weeks now. I've been watching these movies. In almost every movie, they make Christmas cookies. And I go, you know what? Honestly, I want to do that. So I call Cinnamon and I said, we're going to make Christmas cookies. And the kids are going to help. We're going to make a huge mess in the kitchen. We're going to throw flour and do all that stuff I see in those movies. And just have a ball. And the funny thing is... When I went shopping to get all the things I need to make cookies, like cookie cutters and the little plastic bags that you have to have to do the icing, and I didn't know what I was buying, I didn't know what I was doing, and I just happened to be this lady there who was in the cookie section, and she was trying to find these plastic bags that you put the icing in. And you had to buy like 50 or 100. It was like $15 for, for 50. <laughs> and she was complaining about that. And I was telling her I was making cookies for the first time in my life. And she happened to be a professional cookie maker. And she had recipes. And she gave me a website to go to for her uh, icing recipe and gave me her daughter's cookie recipe that she said was the best cookie recipe ever. So I will let you know during another project how the cookie making went. But I bought cookie cutters, every sh Christmas shape you can imagine. I got all these sprinkles and different colored sugars and the little bags and the little metal tips and food coloring for our icings and I don't know how, what it's, how it's going to be but I'm excited. Never done this before in my life. I don't know why. It's a 
just never have. I guess you could say this is something else on my bucket list. So now, I've almost got one whole side done with the, this brown metallic paint. It's actually exactly the color I wanted. Okay. I don't know if you can see, but we've got one side and the stately stripes. So I've got to do the rest of it. I've got the ends and one other side. And then I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with the in-between. I haven't decided, but I'll let you know. So hopefully, maybe you can see my hair this time all the way. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> um, that's all, folks, for now. I'll see you when I get further along with this little project. Okay, bye. I got all the royal squares done all the way around and I decided to put a silver border around around and then we'll do dignified dots on top of that. I already started it just to see if I was going to like it. And I'm gonna like it. I told you I changed my mind. That's my prerogative, right? I can change my mind. I guess it's because I'm a woman. It's very quiet here on the lake tonight. Now, I'm also gonna do these corners you'll see when I turn it back around I painted these holders for the heart silver and that's why I decided to do this. Here, it kind of goes with the silver. Now, I turned it around. Can you see? <laughs> I can't tell what you're seeing. I won't be able to tell if I go put it on my computer. And then it's too late to change it, folks. By the way, I told you my tripod broke. I have it over there gluing with Gorilla Glue. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna hold it, I don't know if it's gonna work, but you know what, it's worth trying to save. Because if not, I'm gonna have to order me another one. They're not that expensive. Okay, so now I have, you see, <laughs> the silver around the edge around the edge and I will do after that dries I will do some dignified dots All right, I'm gonna put that over there and I'm gonna bring my heart my heart over here and because I have I need to put more silver paint going that one in the water Put some more silver in there, and I'm gonna start doing the squares. This project actually won't come on public on YouTube until February. This is gonna be one of my Valentine projects. Since it's a big heart, but I wasn't gonna do pink and red on this, so. I always paint things to go 
if I'm doing it for someone else in their home, according to their color scheme, one day I'm gonna go to Elizabeth's when she'll let me and video her house because her house is like a show place for what I do. I've done so many things for her. <clears throat> but they match her home. Oh, there's a bug. <laughs> they match her, they go with her decor. Um, and I have another friend who I have painted a lot of things for her house and I keep telling her I'm gonna come and do a little video tour to show. I'm gonna go ahead and do right here and right here. started and I'm just gonna go all the way down let's see some of this is a little tricky because I'm not gonna paint over hero pour de toujours <laughs> Happy forever, happy forever, that's what that stands for, or um, happily ever after, sometimes it could, say, it could mean that, happily ever after, I'm sort of a Pollyanna, I like, I like to think of happily ever after, and by the way, I've cleaned this brass with a uh, Cleaned it with alcohol. So you can get a drift of what this is going to be. And by the time this airs, I hope everybody is having a great Valentine's. You know, even if you don't have a quote, Valentine, just do something for yourself. <laughs> That's what I do. I buy myself things. I buy things for my birthday. I buy things for Christmas. I, <laughs> I never let myself get left out. Okay, I think I'm going to... Stop and finish this off camera. This is a little tricky, but I did it. I think this this is one right here. With this tripod I'm using, it's not exactly, doesn't work the same. Folks, this has been such a learning experience for me. Tell everybody what's going to keep me from getting Alzheimer's. Stay busy enough. <laughs> Stay busy enough. Keep learning, keep growing. I don't know. They say you can't stop it if it's going to happen. But, okay, all right, um, I'm going to stop and finish off the camera. I thought I would show you what I've done so far. A little silver on the brass. I think I'm going to leave the back side just all brass and just do this front side. 
That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to do my stately stripes around the edge and use the silver and the uh, brown, which is like a coppery, whatever, bronzy color. Okay, I think that's enough for now. See you later. I finished all the squares, and now I'm doing, started the silver stripes around the edge, <clears throat> and I put a cloth underneath this to keep it from, it's just not level on the bottom. And so, I like your chin, I like your knees.